Imagine your body as a quiet factory that never truly shuts down, constantly choosing between two entirely different fuel sources. Most of the time this choice happens without your awareness, a silent negotiation between organs that determines whether you burn the sugar from your last meal or tap into the fat reserves you've been carrying for months, maybe years. When you stop eating, something remarkable begins to unfold inside you. Your body doesn't panic or shut down. Instead, it often activates an ancient survival program, one that's been refined over millions of years of evolution. This isn't about willpower or discipline. It's about biochemistry, and it follows a precise timeline that most people never get to witness. Your liver acts like a master conductor in this metabolic orchestra. Within the first four hours after your last meal, it's still processing everything you just consumed, converting nutrients into immediate energy and storing excess glucose as glycogen. Think of glycogen as your body's emergency battery pack, tucked away in liver and muscle cells for moments exactly like this. But here's the part most people never hear. Your body is already preparing for the switch long before you feel hungry. Between hours 4 and 8, your digestive system begins to quiet. The constant work of breaking down food, absorbing nutrients, and managing blood sugar starts to ease. Your pancreas reduces insulin production, that crucial hormone responsible for shuttling glucose into your cells. With less insulin circulating, your fat cells may begin to unlock their tightly guarded stores. This is where the story inside your body quietly shifts. Around the eighth hour, your liver's glycogen reserves start to dwindle. Studies suggest this depletion happens gradually, like a slow leak rather than a sudden drain. Your body recognizes this change at the cellular level, triggering a cascade of hormonal signals that will reshape your entire metabolism over the next several hours. What happens next surprises even researchers. By hour 12, your liver has become something entirely different. No longer just processing your most recent meal, it's now a biochemical factory converting stored fat into something your brain can actually use. These molecules, called ketones, represent one of nature's most elegant solutions to survival. Your body essentially begins to eat itself in the most beneficial way possible. The transition isn't always smooth. You might feel tired, maybe a little irritable as your brain adjusts to this new fuel source. But inside, your cells are celebrating. They're finally getting the chance to burn clean, efficient energy that research suggests may produce fewer waste products than glucose metabolism. Your fat cells, which have been quietly storing energy for months or years, begin releasing fatty acids into your bloodstream. These molecules travel to your liver, where they're transformed into ketone bodies. It's a process so efficient that your brain, which normally demands glucose, can run almost entirely on these fat-derived compounds. But the real change begins at 16 hours. This is when your body crosses a metabolic threshold that feels almost magical. Ketone levels in your blood reach what scientists call moderate ketosis, typically between 1 and 3 millimoles per liter. Your brain starts receiving up to one-third of its energy from these fat-derived molecules, and something unexpected happens to your hunger signals. Many people report that their appetite simply vanishes, not because they're forcing themselves to ignore it, but because their body has found a steady, sustainable fuel source. The constant blood sugar fluctuations that drive cravings have stabilized. Your energy levels, instead of the usual peaks and valleys, begin to even out into something more consistent and calm. Your hormones are quietly recalibrating during this phase. Growth hormone levels start to rise, sometimes doubling or tripling from baseline. This isn't random. Growth hormone helps preserve your muscle mass, while your body preferentially burns fat, ensuring that the weight you lose comes from stored energy rather than lean tissue. Yet what your cells do next is even more unexpected. Around the 24-hour mark, a process called autophagy begins to accelerate. Think of this as your body's internal recycling program. Cells start identifying damaged proteins, worn-out organelles, and cellular debris that's been accumulating for months. Instead of letting this waste build up, they break it down and repurpose the components. This cellular cleanup isn't just maintenance. Research from 2016 Nobel Prize winner Yoshinori Osumi revealed that autophagy plays a crucial role in protecting against age-related diseases, supporting immune function, and maintaining cellular health. Your body uses the energy from fat burning to power this deep internal restoration. Your liver, meanwhile, has become remarkably efficient at this new job. 
It can now produce between 150 to 200 grams worth of energy from your fat stores each day. That's equivalent to burning through several months of stored calories, all while maintaining stable blood sugar and keeping your brain fully functional. The inflammation markers in your blood begin to shift downward. C-reactive protein, a key indicator of systemic inflammation, can drop significantly during this phase. Your immune system, no longer constantly dealing with the stress of frequent meals and blood sugar spikes, can focus on repair and maintenance instead of damage control. What unfolds after 48 hours changes everything internally. Your body has now fully adapted to this fat-burning state. The metabolic flexibility that once seemed impossible becomes your new normal. Your cells have essentially learned a new language, one where fat molecules speak as fluently as glucose ever did. But this is only the beginning of the transformation timeline. The next phase reveals something your body almost never shows openly, a level of metabolic efficiency that most people never experience in our constantly fed modern world. Growth hormone continues its subtle rise, reaching levels that would normally require intense exercise or deep sleep to achieve. Your muscles receive signals to preserve their structure, while your adipose tissue releases stored energy with remarkable precision. This hormonal symphony plays out beneath your awareness, orchestrating a metabolic state that feels almost effortless once your body finds its rhythm. Your nervous system begins responding to this new internal environment. The constant stress of blood sugar management fades, allowing your parasympathetic nervous system to engage more fully. This is the rest and digest mode that modern life rarely permits, a state where your body can focus on restoration rather than constant energy regulation. But here's the part most researchers find fascinating. Your gut, empty for hours now, transforms from a busy processing center into a repair workshop. The intestinal lining, usually occupied with breaking down food and managing absorption, can finally attend to its own maintenance. Inflammation markers in the digestive tract often begin their quiet descent, and the microbiome shifts towards strains that thrive in fasting conditions. This microbial change ripples through your entire system. The bacteria in your intestines communicate directly with your brain through the vagus nerve, sending signals of metabolic stability rather than the usual requests for more fuel. Your mood may stabilize as these microscopic allies adapt to your new internal rhythm. What happens next surprises even researchers. Around the 72-hour mark, your body crosses another invisible threshold. Stem cells, dormant for months, may begin receiving activation signals. Your immune system starts a process scientists call regenerative renewal, replacing older white blood cells with fresh, more efficient versions. It's as if your body has decided to upgrade its defense systems while resources are abundant from fat burning. This timeline reveals something profound about your body's hidden intelligence. From the first quiet hours to the cellular renewal at 72, your organs orchestrate a transformation that happens entirely without conscious effort. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones, and responds with remarkable precision to the rhythm you create. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivilabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivilabs, where your body tells its quiet stories.